Imagine opening a free pizza shop and a thousand people show up in 10 seconds. That's not just popularity, it's a disaster. Welcome to the world of DDoS attacks. That's why we need a rate limiter. A rate limiter is like a faucet. It controls how much traffic flows to a server. It restricts the number of requests a client can make in a specific time window. Without rate limiting, systems can be overwhelmed by accidental or malicious traffic. Think of denial of service, DOS, or distributed DOS, DDoS, attacks, where bots flood your APIs until everything crashes. But even legit users can be a problem. One buggy app making 10,000 requests per second? Say goodbye to your database. We use rate limiting to protect login forms from brute force, throttle API abuse, enforce pricing tier, maintain fair usage, there are several ways to implement rate limiting. Here are the top four. Here's how easy it is to add one. In Python Flask, the Flask limiter library lets you do it in one line. Rate limiting isn't just about stopping attacks. It's about fairness, stability, and control. It's a tiny gatekeeper that saves your system from chaos.